afternoon. My name is Dramatic Faces. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to click like and the subscribe button. The look that I am going for today is a New Year's holiday look. Remember, be safe, be happy, and stay blessed. I have already prepped my face with Too Faces Hangover RX Face Primer, as well as Too Faces uh, Eyeshadow Insurance Eye Primer. I'm going to be filling in my brows with Max Brand Eyebrow Styler in the color Spiked. This step may seem a bit challenging for some people. Um, I'm going to show you what I use, which is the color eye pencil in Feline, as well as Max 214 Short Shading Brush. This brush is very, very dense and the bristles don't move. You're going to take the eyeliner pencil and then just gently start stenciling where you want the color to go. That you go in with a shirt shade and brush that has dense bristles and you want to just pat that color down. So take this the brush and shape it some more where you want the color to go. Now what I like to do is just gently pat it upwards a little bit so that way the black isn't as dark. And I try not to drag it all the way into this area. That This area you want to avoid with dragging color in. And I'm doing just light tapping and swiping down motions. Next, I'm taking Max Color and Brew Sky. It's a matte, as well as Max 224 Fluffy Shader Brush. And I'm just going to take that and buff it right on in on the top part of the black color. Next, I'm taking Sugar Pills Pro Palette in the white color, Taco in Sigma's E55 eye shade and brush. And I'm going to be applying that directly to my eyelid area. This is a very pigmented white. Is matte, there's no shade, uh, no sheen to it. Next, I'm taking Sephora's brand Amplifier Beauty Spray with the same Sigma E55 shading brush, and I'm going to spray that. And I'm applying Sugar Pills Loose um, Eyeshadow in the color Lumi onto the white that I have on my eyelid. Is this, is it's a unique color. It fluctuates um, like opal iridescent is the best way I could describe it. It may look blue in some of the lighting or white in some of the lighting or green. <music> Next, I'm taking Anastasia's Artist Palette. And I'm going to be using this shade with OCC's Dome Shader Brush in the color Coal. I'm going to be taking the eye, the eyeshadow color and applying it on the outside of my eyelid as well as on the inside as a large V shape. Next, I'm taking Sephora's brand Medium 25 Foundation in their Pro Featherweight Crease Brush. And I'm going to take that and, act and just gently blend. <laughs> On top of the foundation color that I applied, I'm taking Shroom in Blanc Type um, and adding them to my inner corner to make it a little bit lighter transition for the eyeshadow colors. <laughs> I'm taking Sigma's E70 Angle Eyeshadow Brush and I'm using those same colors 
as my eyebrow highlight. I wound up mixing Blanc Type in Sephora's foundation color for my eyebrow highlighter because the the shroom color is actually a shimmery metallic color and it was too bright for my underneath my eyebrows. I don't really like my eyebrows that bright depending on the eyeshadow that I'm using. I retouched up my eyebrows and I'm going to set them with Anastasia's Clear Brow Gel. After I cleaned up my under eye area, I'm taking Stila's Micro Tip Eyeliner as well as Sephora's Brand Eyeliner and I'm going to be doing a winged eyeliner. Next, I'm taking NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard as well as Black Radiant's Color Corrector in Peach and Anastasia's Blending Ball. If you need a color corrector, you go ahead and apply that to the areas of the discoloration and then you put the concealer on top. And that will help blend everything in together. As well as if you don't need color corrector, you're fine with just applying your concealer. Alright, I had a moment. This is my first time using one of these. I normally use a beauty blender, but I'm actually having fun with this. So I'll try to show you on camera how I'm using it which I just take a bouncing technique and then I try to get into the corners as much as I can and then blend it on out. And try to get close to your lash line as you possibly can. And then I take the concealer and I give that a nice swipe down and over. And I'm taking the same technique of bouncing at. Next, I'm taking Black Opal's brand Kalahari Sand Foundation Stick. And I'm going to just take a couple swipes. I believe that this is a medium to full coverage makeup. Next, I'm taking Anastasia's Blender Ball and Sephora's Amplifier Beauty Spray. And I'm just spritzing the ball. And I'm going to take, take that, give it a nice squish. That way all of it's worked in there. And I'm going to take the back end of the sponge and just start blending that in together. Max 150 brush in Sephora's brand shade foundation in number 25 and I'm going to set my foundation. Next I'm taking Laura Mercier's secret um, brightening eye powder for underneath the eye area in Sephora's uh, brush in number 79 and I'm going to take that to set my concealer and I'm doing a press and roll method underneath my eye and then I'm just going to gently pat that on in. And that locks in the concealer and the color corrector. I'm using the same powder brush by MAC and Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I am picking the color Radiant Light to go over on top of my foundation. My foundation um, is a little bit darker than what I like because I'm no longer that shade because winter time is here. These are beautiful powders and they're like filters for your face. They erase small imp imperfections um and major ones too um and they just give you a soft filter focus i'm taking anastasia's contour kit and contour blush and i'm going to be taking the lighter um cooler tone and this darker tone and i'm going to really apply most of this shade for my contour because this color i only use a little bit of it for my skin tone and I'm going to take those and apply my contour from the top of my ear down and just brush that back and forth and then buff it up just a little bit. I'm taking Max Petal Power and Real Techniques Blush and Brush and I'm just applying that to the apple the apples of my cheeks 
as well as patting it gently upwards into the contour. Next, I'm taking Too Faced's bronzer palette and I'm using Chocolate Soleil as my bronzer as well as Sigma's F40 angle brush to apply that. I'm taking MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter and Anastasia's A23 Highlighter Brush. And I'm using Sephora's Amplifier Spray and I'm going to just spray the tip of the brush. And I'm just giving that a nice swirl around it and I'm going to take that. And I like starting my highlighter midway and then going upwards like a C. Next, I'm taking... Estee Lauder's Double Wear Pencil in Brick and Max Satin Lipstick in, the, in Cherish. Next, I'm taking these lashes and using Duo Lash Glue in Black. And the name of these eyelashes are 3D638. Next, I'm taking Urban Decay's Eyeliner uh, Pencil in Flip Side as well as Feline. I'm going to take the lighter color and just line the inner rim. Next, I'm taking Maybelline's Colossal Volume Express Mascara, and I'm going to apply that to my lashes, my bottom, and my top. I Last, I'm going to finish my look with Sephora's brand Amplifier Beauty Spray. And that completes this holiday's New Year's look. Thank you. Don't forget to click subscribe and the like button. I hope to see you in the future. Thank you, and have a blessed day.